Welcome to today's presentation, which is ranking every Pokemon trainer by their outfit. Now, a lot of work went into this, but uh, I'm going to kind of break down some disclaimers first and foremost. So first of all, I am not a fashion professional, which watching the video, I know, right? Great outfit. It's my laundry day outfit, coordinated, but not a fashion professional. So this may not be the most professional assessment of all of these characters. The next point is that these are only the main games because, as you will see here, this is just a sampling. That chunk at the top, that's what we're covering. All those other ones are side characters. At the bottom, it starts getting into Pokemon. At one point, you can play as like a toy Rattata. I, I, I could not. I could not cover all of these. And I mean, once we start ranking Pokemon's outfits, everything's out the window. So... With that in mind, uh, these are also going to be in chronological order, so I, I considered doing them in order of quality, but that's... I, I don't have time. <laughs> I did not have time, at least. Um, and then these are the initial designs. So these are the specific designs you start with in the game. You can change your outfit, your hair, your makeup, everything in a lot of the newer games, but these are just the initial designs of the characters. I source them from Bulbapedia. I also source the names. So these might not be entirely accurate. Don't blame me, blame Bulbapedia. Um, and also some of these are redesigns of the same character from remakes and sequels. So we get to see what changed with their outfit, what just changed with their design in general. So starting off, red from red, blue, green, and yellow, which is the first generation of the games. Got the red hat with the white bill. Kind of a trucker hat thing going on. Got the matching jacket. High-waisted jeans. Got him tucked into his boots. Classic. He's got like the Sonic shoes. C. I'll say C tier. This is this is the baseline for all of them. Like this is what we're going to base all the quality of the rest of these on. Then we also have Red from Fire Red and Leaf Green when they re-released it on Game Boy Advance. Similar design, but they refined it. You know, it's a little more red. It's a little more detailed. It's a little more modern. You know, his... His pants make a little more sense. His shoes make a little more sense. So I would say A tier. This is this is pretty much what I would say is the baseline for quality. Most of the good ones are going to look somewhere in this region. Next up, we had Leaf from Fire Red and Leaf Green because the original first generation, you couldn't play as a female character. So in the remake, they made a new character, Leaf and Leaf's okay, but Leaf is kind of basic. It's just the red skirt, the blue shirt. I kind of like the leg warmers, you know? It's it's a decent, like, kind of reversal of the hat with the colors, so we're going to go with B on that one. Not bad, but not spectacular. Then we get into Generation 2. Ethan, Gold, Silver, Crystal. Oh, boy. First of all, let's let's appreciate the uh, proportions here. Those, those calves are really short. Um... Yeah, there, there's a lot of bright colors happening here. I like the splash of yellow a bit, but man, I, I, I this definitely feels like a sequel character, if you know what I mean. So not really worse than red, but definitely no better. So I'm going to say C as well. We're, we're not going to get into any of the spectacular ones for a couple generations at least. Then, of course, we have Ethan again in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which was on the DS, and that's a remake of Gold and Silver. Real simple, but definitely modernized, a little less glaring. And I, part of that is because the last Ethan, that picture is a little blown out with the shading. But modern, sleek, a little more dull, less pops of color. But at the same time, a little nicer. B. B on that one. Then we also got Chris. Chris was the first female player character you could have in Pokemon Crystal. It's something I forgot to mention earlier, I am gonna include the hairstyle in some of these choices. And here, how how, how you do that with your hair? I, 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 how do you do that? Something about it just doesn't work for me. I don't know, something about it feels like a lab assistant or like an NPC. This doesn't feel main character quality, really. And, uh, yeah, it, it's it's very simple, but it's also like a little too casual. It doesn't feel like what they really could have done, and we'll see what they could have done coming up. So this was this was a D. This one was kind of disappointing. Not the worst, but it hey, it's pretty underwhelming. Next up, we also had a different female character in Heart Gold Soul Silver, Lyra. 
I actually like Lyra a good deal. Like the romper is pretty nice. It's sort of like an overall romper. Uh, the high socks are really nice. We got the, the hat with the big bulb to it. And it's got the Chris hair with the big swoops underneath, but it's a little more subtle. It's a little more realistic. It, it looks like you could actually like do this if you wanted to cosplay this character. So I say B for Lyra. Pretty solid outfit. Then next up, Generation 3, Brendan from Ruby and Sapphire. He looks like a Team Rocket character. This does not look like the hero in a Pokemon game. This looks like a villain. And it, is that his hair or is that his hat? Because we're going to see other versions of him and it just blurs more and more. I can't tell. I always assumed he just had white hair, but it, I, I can't tell. So yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like this for main character very much. I, I gave this a D. Uh, no, no, it's no, not very good. And then May from Ruby and Sapphire as well. I mean, May is like the first really good female character you could play in a Pokemon game. She looks like a main character. She's got the stylish outfit. She looks athletic. She looks ready to go. A tier. Definitely solid, solid character. Solid outfit. Then we had Brendan from Emerald. And I like this outfit a lot more except for the um if i had any criticisms the the jeans under the basketball shorts uh what <laughs> i like the green i like the pops of green and stuff but that that's a little much but honestly like the 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 way it all works the black the green the red it looks more like hair on top so i'm, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be i can't tell still but i love the layout i love how it all looks he's working it s first s tier that is a great outfit. Next up, we have May from Emerald. And May just kept getting better. We got the green added in because, you know, Emerald. She's got the loose sock. She's still got the kind of like uh, the like bike short look, spats or whatever they're called. But then she's got the fanny pack. She's got the cool gloves that are like kind of fingerless, but it looks like she's wearing like more gloves underneath. Really cool. Love the bandana. S tier as well. Both, both of the outfits from Emerald, fantastic. Great outfits. Next up, we had Brendan once again from the remake of Ruby and Sapphire, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And he's looking better. It's definitely modernized, but I feel like it's to a, kind of a detriment. It, it, it's a little too bland. You know, he it, there's a lot of personality removed from this. And while it looks kind of neat, they definitely made it clear, like, that's not his hair in this one. He's got brown hair, and then he's got like a like a, a whale fin basically happening with the hat. And yeah, not not my favorite of the Brendans, but still not terrible. B. I, I give that a B. Then we have May once again from Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And again, we're taking kind of a step back, but still looks athletic, looks sporty. I love the bow. Uh it's a, A tier, not S. That still goes to Emerald, but A tier for sure. Next up, we had Lucas from Diamond and Pearl. Très chic, indeed. Look, the scarf, the, the baggy jean, the gradient shirt with the, the bit of the undershirt underneath. Very understated, but very, very fashionable. I, I enjoy this one a great deal, so I gave it an A. Then we also had Dawn from Diamond and Pearl. Dawn is a perennial favorite. A lot of people really love her. But I'm here to say I don't, honestly. I, I don't like this weird like half stocking that goes just over the knee. That that would be falling down all the time. That'd be a nightmare to wear. She's got like the the like galoshes going on that I'm not a fan of. The vest is kinda neat, but it could use a bit of a sleeve. The scarf looks kinda like thin. And I don't know, she's wearing the short skirt, but she's got the, the, the really warm cap and the rainy day, but there's a lot of mess going on here. And she's also got the huge, mm, yeah, I, I, I really honestly don't like this outfit very much. D tier, D tier for sure. Then Lucas from Platinum, very lovely. He's got sort of the, the bunched up scarf. He's uh, upgraded the hat. He has a jacket on, it's a little colder now. A bit more of a wintry outfit, but definitely, 
still very fashionable, very, very mature. It feels like he's grown up. And so I gave this one an A. Then we have Dawn from Platinum. I prefer this outfit. I do. It's definitely, as with his, a little more wintry. It's a little more, you know, brought together. It's definitely supposed to be more of a cold weather outfit. And it's riffing on a lot of the stuff from the last one. Eh, my problem with it is it doesn't look so much like a main character outfit as it does like a fashion magazine outfit. You know, this doesn't look like something the character would actually wear on a day to day. It looks like something they'd wear for a photo shoot. So higher, but still a C, you know, just just kind of OK. Then we have Hilbert from Black and White. Hilbert looks fine you know it's the blue with the red i don't think works out great and i don't like this like bottom zipper top zipper kind of coat i'm not a fan uh the pants tucked into the shoes a bit of an homage to some of the early designs which i appreciate but overall b a little above average but still nah nothing special then we have hilda from black and white and th when we're talking sporty this girl's ready to go. She's ready to go out on adventure. She's got her hair tied up. She's got the hat on. She's got the short shorts with the like zigzagoon spikes coming out the bottom. She's just, she's got a great stance. I love it. Fantastic S tier. Great outfit, great outfit. So yeah, we, we have Nate from Black 2, White 2. And uh, this outfit's a hot mess. He's got the watch, which is just super chunky, kind of proto smartwatch. He's wearing the athletic shoes with no socks, or they're no-show socks, but in either case, he doesn't want us to think he's wearing socks, which is not cool. The huge basketball shorts. The the tights are kind of nice, you know. Oh, yeah, there is a wetsuit. Okay. The, the huge, the huge shorts. The hair, the hair is what really gets me. I can't, th that is the stupidest looking hairstyle of any of these, which is why this is the only F tier. Complete failure, super ugly outfit, no good. All right, and then we have Rosa from Black 2 and White 2, also a big favorite like Dawn. Um, I do like the sort of faux skirt, it's a skirt kind of situation going on. Uh, similarly, she's got kind of the wetsuit thing going on. It's very kind of like beach wear. Uh, her hair is a little silly. She's got the Princess Leia buns with like the tails going down and the same visor. This works a little better though with the idea. This feels like a beach outfit that's like kind of fashionable. So I actually gave this this one a B tier. I, th I think Nate really dropped the ball, but she came to pick it up. Then we have an honorable mention because we are halfway through. My boy, Wes from Coliseum. He looks like a Kingdom Hearts character. He's got the shoulder. He's got the, the long blue coat. He's got the stripe across, which I'm not sure if that's like paint or if that's like he just laid something across so he could get a tan line. He's got the mirrored visor. He looks real angry. And to be clear, this red and black on the side, that's the snatch device so he can steal other people's Pokemon. This is the game where you can do that. So, uh, what more can I say? Amazing. It, it fails so hard that it comes back and becomes the best. S tier. S tier. Those shoes, though. Those shoes, though. Those shoes, though. They got the spikes going around. Or no, they're like gears almost. I, I really like it. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is high fashion. Doesn't try. Succeeds. I thought you were going to like give him an S plus plus or some shit. <laughs> no, no, no. Not yet. With that midpoint aside, we're going to Calum from X and Y. And this, this is very nice. This, is a, this looks like a casual outfit you'd wear. For once, the pants tucked into the boots make sense. They are a high boot and they 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 got the strap going on he he's got a matching outfit it looks comfortable he's got the the stylish glasses on top there looks really nice really really sort of uh modern sort of mature as i said before s tier for sure looks wonderful wonderful i would wear this i should wear this 
Wouldn't be too hard to put together. Then we have Serena from X and Y. Serena, pretty good. I like this. Um, I don't like that the skirt and the hat don't match. The, the hat and the purse match, which is good. And I do like that they both have the glasses up top. Uh, it is, you know, fashionable, but once again, similar to the, the Dawn that had the wintry outfit, it looks like a fashion outfit. It looks like it was meant for a magazine, not necessarily something she would wear to go out adventuring. So while it's still a nice outfit, B, you know. Then we're moving on to Elio from Sun and Moon. Now this, this is where stuff starts to get real good. I like the pants, the fashionable pants. I don't know what you call that, where it's like kind of droopy and it's got the big buttons and the like elastics, kind of like sweatpants, but it's very fashionable, kind of streetwear, definitely something you'd wear on a tropical island, which is where this game is set. Um, the shoes are a little silly, I will admit. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with those. Super, super, just kind of chill, you know? It definitely looks like somebody you could hang out with. A tier, A tier. And then we got one of my favorites, Celine from Sun and Moon. This is just super. She's got the huge shirt tied in a knot. She's got the 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 short shorts, the shoes. The short shorts don't match anything, to be clear. Uh, and then she's got the stupid looking hat. It's so silly that it's kind of great. And I, I, ju I just love the enthusiasm in this outfit. Definitely took some risks, and I think they paid off. I give this an S tier. For sure. Me too. It's so good. And then we got to see another outfit because this game got a sequel. So Elio, once again, we got to see him. Uh, his shoes kind of look like dragon faces. I think that's supposed to be like a specific Pokemon. Uh, he looks like a lot younger or at least kind of acts that way as far as I can tell. But, you know, I don't know. This, this kind of turned into a mess. It kind of fell apart compared to his first outfit. Like, it's okay, but... He's got the big old shorts again. A lot of it doesn't match in a very pleasing way. So I give I give this one a D. Didn't like it a lot. It's 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 cute, but I don't think it works super well. Then we got Celine from Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Compared to her first outfit, I mean anything would be disappointing. That was such a great outfit, but this one I don't I don't know what's what's going on here once again this one feels like a fashion outfit it feels less like it's supposed to be an outfit someone would actually wear more like one that's just kind of to show some stuff off uh definitely makes her look younger which it makes it feel more immature and it's still kind of like you know it's fun and like tropical but yeah i i don't i don't care for the ultra sun and ultra moon d tier i don't i, I this one didn't have the best outfits in my opinion now this is kind of a remake, so I could have put it earlier, but Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee is technically a story remake of Red, but it's different enough. So Chase is basically Red, but he has a much more interesting style going on. He's got the pop of yellow on the shoes. He's got the two tones on the pants. Uh, he's got the, 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 the side bag. What do you call it? The like strap across bag. And he's got a Pikachu on his thing. That's... That's a great accessory. So I'd say A tier. A tier. Then we got Elaine from Let's Go Pikachu slash Eevee. And I like this. It's definitely trying to be more since we didn't really get, like we got Leaf, but she's kind of just May with like a slight tweak. This is the first one that looks like if Red had a specific female counterpart and it works okay, but I feel like the hat it's just kind of thrown on there because it doesn't really fit a lot with the rest of the outfit. And like the yellow's nice, but the yellow and the red, uh, a little off-putting. And she, she's got a classic backpack when we got the side strap. I, uh, it's, but it's still not bad. It's, it's not as good as Chase over there, but B tier, B tier, still nice, still nice. Then we got Victor from Sword and Shield. Uh, I like I like the casualness of it, you know. It's got the it's got the little shirt tail going down below the um, the the polo, the long sleeve polo that he's got rolled up. He's got the kind of crumply hat, you know. It looks very casual. Looks definitely like he didn't really plan to be on a big adventure and be in a video game, but 
he made it work. It's not the worst. Another C tier, very baseline. And then, ooh, we got Gloria. Oh, I love Gloria. Ah, oh, that's it. Speaking of the shirt tail, the socks match his shirt tail. If you look back here, see that same pattern, same pattern. So yeah, I love the the pink dress with the sweater. I like the poof ball Scottish hat. Um, oh, the boots, the big old big old clomping boots. Very very simple, but like everything you need to convey what the culture of the area that this game was set in was like because Galar is basically the UK of the Pokemon world, so definitely does what it needs to do. S tier. S tier. So that's all of the main game characters, but while they're not a main game character technically, you don't get to play as them, I would be remiss if I did not show the best Pokemon outfit. And of course, it's, it's, Avery, this is just, oh, oh my God. The ruffles over the soccer outfit with the one glove, the, the high heels. It's got two gloves. They're different. Two gloves? Oh, yeah, that is a white glove on the other side. Oh, my God. Oh, it's just, oh, and the, lo the just long blonde with the, mm. looks so good. But runner up would be Leon's outfit, to be clear. The soccer outfit with the big old like royal cape, but this this blows out of the water. This is the best Pokemon outfit. S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier. I put like thirty of them in there. It keeps going. <sighs> but that is all of my Pokemon rankings. Thank you for watching.